was certainly uh, uh, you know a big goal of ours uh, that we weren't able to achieve last year. Uh, so you know, winning the division this year, and and in particular, you know, the last year of of, of the divisions, I think that was uh, uh, kind of a another uh, goal within our goals this year. But uh, so we're excited about the opportunity to still be playing, and look forward to the trip up there. We got a great amount of respect for, uh, you know, Coach Brown and the job he's done at, at North Carolina um, and uh, the year that they've had. Got a lot of uh, dynamic playmakers that we've been able to see, you know, throughout the year, you know, uh, none more so than their quarterback, um, you know, has had a, a Heisman type year. So uh, it's going to be, should be a great uh, uh, venue and a great night there in Charlotte. And again, looking forward to, uh, you know, competing against a great team. All right, thanks coach. Um, as always with the Zoom call, if you have a question, please raise your hand. We allowed folks on today, so I'll try to get to as many as, as possible. First up is Trevor Groves. Trevor, go ahead. Hey coach, um, it was an epic uh, meeting the last time you played the Tar Heels in 2019 in Chapel Hill. Um, just what do you remember about that game and uh, what can you say about the job that Matt Brown has done with this program? He's done an amazing job. I mean, just I think coming in and really, uh, you know, just you know, building a culture and solidifying uh, their organization and and uh, you know, impacting the recruiting, uh, which ultimately impacts the, the product on the field. And so he's done a, a wonderful job of that. Um, they've got a lot of great players. Uh, they they he's got an excellent staff, and uh, so that particular game was uh, was a crazy day. Uh, I think it was an early game, if I remember, but but uh, you know came down to you know the last play, and uh, you know it was a, a great play by our guys. Uh, you know I think it was, uh, if I remember correctly, maybe Skowski was in on that play, uh, but uh, it was uh, it was a good one. Isaiah Simmons maybe it was another one in on that one, but uh, tough, tough, hard fought game as, as was the last time we played them in the ACC championship game. Um, uh, that was, that was a, a play that came down to an onside kick. So got a lot of respect for these guys and, and, uh, you know, the type of program that they have and the players that they have within it. Okay. Our next question will go to Andrea Adelson. Andrea, go ahead. Davo, when you reviewed the tape from uh, yesterday's game in terms of some of the struggles in the passing game, how much of that was on DJ? How much of that was on the receivers, the line? I know there's a lot of moving parts, but, you know, do you have a clearer idea today kind of what went into some of those struggles? Oh, yeah, I got a much clearer idea, uh, but it's, uh, you know, it was a combination of all the, a lot of things we had, um, you know, really uh, one time early we had Brenning stool wide open and uh you know we we uh, uh get hit and um you know did not do a good job protecting on that particular play i mean wide open and then we had another time we missed a throw to antonio who was who was open and then we hit him and we dropped it and then we had a couple mores and we dropped it and, and so we had some critical drops and some misplays uh you know and and those things add up and next thing you know, the turnovers with empty possessions, you, know, you, you turn over a kick return, you turn over a punt return, now you're out of rhythm and, and then you have some drops and a few misplays along the way and, and it's, uh, it's a recipe for getting beat. So, you know, but our kids competed. Uh, I love that, that how they competed. Uh, you know, again, you just got to congratulate South Carolina. They found a way to win the game. We certainly had plenty of opportunity to win it and uh, we did not, we didn't get it done. And uh, the turnovers really hurt us and caught up with us and some big plays on defense. So it was a combination of a lot of things. Uh, you know, certainly BJ had some plays that he'd like to have back, but you know, he, he wasn't, uh, he, he was not, he was a long way away from being the reason we lost the game. That's for sure. Um, so he, he doesn't return kicks and play safety and, 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 you know, catch the ball. Uh, he can only control his part, but, you know, all of those things, I think, affect, you know, just your psyche and the rhythm of the game and so forth. But, you know, again, uh, I still love how they competed. You know, a lot of a lot of tough things within the game, but, you know, competed all the way to the end. And unfortunate that we didn't get a chance there at the kick with the, with the last fumble on the punt return. That was kind of the final, uh, final deal there. But 
just got to congratulate South Carolina and Shane and, and uh, for those guys finding a way to win the game because they, 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 they just won it. Okay, our next question is from Matt Connolly. Go ahead, Matt. Yeah, well, in addition to the passing game, just what else kind of stood out, both good and bad, um, about yesterday's game and, and what went right, what went wrong when you went back and watched it? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, just, again, misplays, uh, turnovers, uh, and then some, some critical uh, big plays on defense where we just uh, didn't do what we needed to do. And uh, so, you know, and they and they made us pay for it. Uh, but you know, had a, had had a couple of miscues up front um, as well. But just a combination of all those things. And in a game like that, I mean, it's a rivalry game. It's a, it's it's a few plays. But more than anything, uh, you know, missed opportunities with the drops, a couple of missed plays, uh, and and the turnovers. I mean, again, you get the safety. And you get a nice little kick return to the 30 something there. And, and, you know, you got one of your best players and you know, the ball's loose and just, just kind of, you know, away from his body and comes out. Uh, and then, you know, you, you got, even with all the stuff that, that had gone on, you still got a chance there at the end. You're going to have a, you know, first down on right there at midfield about the 48. And, you know, you get one more fumble. So special teams, the two two return, the two returns that that we got no opportunity with, those are empty possessions. Uh, the field position, their punter was tremendous. Uh, we had a lot of you know tough field position, uh, but we did a lot of good things in the game too. I know we like to focus on all the bad uh, when we lose, but there were a lot of good things in the game uh, that we'll see when we watch the tape as well. But you know, just just didn't do what we need to do to win the game. And you have to win those type of games. We had plenty of opportunity, plenty, you know, two, two plays, three plays, you win it. Um, but you got to give their guys credit. I mean, cause they were behind the whole game. They trailed the entire game and they just kept battling. And then, uh, you know, the field goal put them up there in the fourth quarter and, and we weren't able to, uh, to respond. And again, some, some huge missed opportunities, you know, three big drops, um, you know, that I felt like could have, could have uh, made a difference for us, but, you know, just wasn't our day. Okay, our next question is from Larry Williams. Larry, go ahead with your question. Sorry, can you hear me? I uh, can now. Okay, sir, I apologize. I had my, my mute on accidentally. Um, can you share what, how you're moving forward with the quarterback situation this week. Is DJ still the guy? Um, what have you all concluded, I guess, uh, as of this afternoon? So are you asking me if he's the reason we lost? No, no, I'm not. I'm just I'm just curious if he's still the starter. Yeah, he's still the starter. Yeah, still the starter. He didn't he did he's not the reason we lost the game. And uh he he can't catch it. You know, and again, he doesn't play safety and he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't return kicks. Uh, so he, he's got his share of things that, that he can do better, but, um, you know, he, he's, he, he will, he will definitely start the game. Okay. Our next question is from Leo Haggerty. Go ahead, Leo. Coach, you're dealing not only with a loss, but a lot of other things. First time in eight games with South Carolina, first home loss in 40 you don't want this to fester into a second one. What are you going to have to do this week to make sure you get over this game? Well, just like we've always done, you go back to work and uh, you move on to the next opponent. That's what we've always done. Um, you know, we, you know, all those things are great. I and mean, we, we've done all those things, but, uh, you, you know, the last time we lost, we went back to work. Uh, and that's what you do. This is a championship game. This is going to be uh, you know, a, a, another great, uh, venue and great environment and two teams that really want to win. Uh, but, you know, you, you, you keep good perspective, you learn, you teach, you know, we, you, you uh, make sure your guys understand what's reality and what's not, especially at a place like Clemson when you lose a game. Um, and then, you know, you lose. I mean, I, I, I wish we had won eight in a row. Uh, we didn't. And we had our opportunity to, but you know, somewhere along the line, you got to give the opponent some credit too. And uh, you know, their kids earned it, and uh, we had plenty of opportunities and didn't do what we needed to do. So, uh, and as I said yesterday, there's probably a reason why no one's won eight in a row in this series. 
it's hard to do in a rivalry game. And uh, we've had a lot of great days, and yesterday wasn't one of them. So, you know, you, you learn from it and you move on to the next one, just like what's led to all of our consistency. When we've won a game, we do the same thing. We don't linger around in that either. We learn from it and we move on to the next one. So really no different than anything that we, we always do. Thank you, Coach. Yes, sir. Okay, our next question is from David Teal. David, go ahead with your question. Yeah, but when your opening statement, you said that Drake May was having a Heisman-type season. You have competed against and coached some of the best young quarterbacks this league has ever seen. Does Drake May have some common traits with a Trevor Lawrence or a Jameis Winston? Absolutely. He's he's, he's a great one. I mean, uh, I know they've had a, a couple tough games, but again, you know, he, he, he can only do his job, right? Uh, and not that he's perfect or anything like that, but he is, uh, you know, teams win, and, but he's he's got all the attributes. We recruited him. We offered him. We, we, we loved him coming out of high school. So uh, and nothing's changed. I mean, he's a great, great player, um, you know, with, with – he's a winner. You know, he's got a great competitive streak to him. That's what I like about him most is he's incredibly competitive. Um, and he just has a lot of confidence that he can make the play required. Uh, but he's he's got a nice arm. He's, he sees it. He's got a high football IQ. He's an excellent leader. Uh, you see all those things. Uh, so he can move around. I mean, he can do. He can run with it. I mean, he can do a little bit of everything. So he's a complete. He's a complete player at that position. I see over your right shoulder a diagram of SoFi Stadium, which is where the CFP final is. Yeah. Do, do you have to adjust some team goals now in the wake of yesterday? Uh, not really. I mean, you know, we, we didn't achieve the goal that we had yesterday. So, you know, we still have – we've got two goals left, and that is uh, to win the ACC and to win the closer. So we don't have to adjust anything. Uh, you know, we've got a chance to hit four out of our five goals. And, uh, you know, if we do that, we're going to have had a great year uh, for sure. But uh, – um, yeah, that's 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 been there since the summer. Uh, you know, I think one of the operations guys brought that back. So uh, I guess I won't need the directions uh, to it. But uh, yeah, appreciate you pointing that out. Yeah, it's been there. I didn't even notice it's been there. Been there always. It's something been there a long time. But um, you know that. And again, that's 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 not a goal. You know, it's not. There's nothing in here that says win the national championship. Our goals are win the opener. You know, win the division. Win the state win the ACC and win the closer. And when we've done that, we've won the national championship. You know, our goals are set up to allow us to compete at the highest level. But the reason that it doesn't say win the national championship on there is because we don't control that, right? I mean, we can win all of our games and somebody could say, no, you don't qualify, right? So, you know, we set our goals up that allow us to compete at the highest level. And that's worked out for us a lot this year. You know, we're not going to hit all five, but we do have an opportunity still to to hit four out of five. And if we do that, we're going to have another great year here and uh, and keep moving forward. So uh, this is a huge goal for us, always has been. And, uh, you know, when you when we've won the league, it's always led to to bigger things. And uh, so, uh, you know, and, and not winning the state championship uh, a couple of times along the way in our past has kept us out of some bigger opportunities. You know, we not won our state championship, won the league, been in the Orange Bowl, et cetera. Um, but, you know, when we've hit all five, uh, we, we've, we've been – we've won it all uh, a couple of times. So uh, that's, uh, that's, that's why they are what they are. But we don't have to adjust anything. You know, we've got two goals left and uh, win the ACC and win the closer. And we hit those two goals, we, we will have had a heck of a year uh, here at Clemson. All right, our next question is from Chapel Fowler. Chapel, go ahead with your question. Hey, Debo, you, you mentioned last night um, wishing you had gotten Shipley the ball a little bit more in the second half. Um, after looking at the film, do you have a better idea of why that didn't happen? Uh, well, I mean, there's some some read things where it didn't happen and just, just you know, just the play call didn't go to him. And, uh, and then, again, we had uh, you know, a, miss, a missed possession there at the end that, that uh, hurt us. Uh, some missed plays that 
killed some sequence, more sequence of plays and opportunities there. But, um, you know, definitely something, you know, 2020, hindsight's 2020 for sure. And, you know, wish, wish we could have gone back and, and redone a couple of those. Okay, our next question is from Anna Adams. Anna, go ahead with your question. Hey, Dabo. Um, Coach Streeter said after the game that Clemson wide receivers didn't particularly win against man coverage. Um, looking at the film, any reason why there was so much struggle there? Uh, well, they did a good job on a couple of occasions. Uh, there were several times where they won, and, and we, we didn't, you know, we dropped it, or uh, we missed the throw or the protection let us down, but uh, they did a good job of really playing some, some outside technique leverage. And then we came back and made them pay for that and hit Bo for a big play. Um, but we, we missed a couple of other opportunities and then Bo getting hurt was certainly a loss for us, but um, you know, uh, definitely not our best day. Okay, our next question is from, back to Andrea Adelson. Andrea, go ahead. Dabo, I think uh, you have a negative turnover margin in your last five games. I'm just wondering if there's a common denominator there and uh, how much of a concern that is headed into Saturday. That's a huge concern, you know, because if, if we lose the margin this week, we'll lose the game. I mean, it's, uh, you know, uh, I, it's, I knew going into this game uh, and when, when we've, when we've lost to these guys, that's been the common denominator is, is um, you know, the five game streak that we had, uh, at that point was we had 15 turnovers to their three. Um, and this run that we had of seven in a row, we really did a great job of being even or better, you know, all but one time we were minus one and we still won in 15, but it was a really close, like a five point game. Um, so it's a big concern going into this game and it's, and it's frustrating. Um, and it's a lot of fundamental stuff, you know, just guys getting the ball out um, and away from their body. And, you know, uh, sometimes trying to do too much. And it's, it's, been, it's been an issue these past five games. But uh, we've also shown that we can do an outstanding job. The first seven games, we had three turnovers. So we have shown that we can, you know, do a good job of that. But it's been a real problem. We're very fortunate to be three and two uh, in those five games where we've lost the margin. Uh, that's, that's, that's amazing that we've been able to overcome that. Uh, and, and had an opportunity to overcome it yesterday. And, and again, just, just couldn't quite uh, get it done, even with the lead for most of the game. All right, as a reminder, make sure to raise your hand if you have a question. We're going to go back to Trevor Groves. Trevor, go ahead. Hey, Coach. I'm, uh, speaking of, of turnovers, I'm curious about the gadget uh, kickoff return. Um, it worked out nicely, except for the fumble by Moffa. Uh, where did that play come from exactly? Yeah, it's just something we've had, you know, and it's a good time to do it because you know you're going to have a chance at a return, and and it and and it and it and it did it did pop clean, it almost pop big time, uh, but he kind of got tripped up there, and and same thing. It's not like he had some big hit; just just the ball. He just kind of had the ball out from his body, and you know, just, just uh, came came loose there. So, uh, just a, one of the best players we have. And I'd hand it to him over and over and over. Um, so we just gotta just gotta really coach our way and play our way through it. It's a real it's a real disappointment right now, and it's uh, uh, definitely a huge factor in that game yesterday. You know, a couple of times again, two two one on kick return, one on punt return. You got all the momentum, you know, on the kick return there after the safety. Um, you know, you're you're up nine with a chance to get good field position and go get points and and um, you know, it's an empty possession. And then obviously at the end there, you know, you feel good about your return and, and you got a great kicker and and uh, to not get the opportunity is very frustrating. But uh, again, that's that's football, you know, and when you compete in this arena, in this world that we're in, um, we, we've been we, we've been we, we, we've been more blessed than not. I mean, we it's it's bounced our way a lot, um, but you'll have those days somewhere along the way where it doesn't. And. You know, that was a, a tough thing for us yesterday. Did you put that play in yourself? And have you seen somebody else run that play before? Yeah, we, we've had that play in. We put it in. Uh, we've had it, you know, most of the year. Uh, but it was just, a, you know, like I said, just the right time to call it. But, yeah, something that's been in our background for a long time. Thanks, Coach. 
All right, we'll go back to Larry Williams. Larry, go ahead. Yeah, you mentioned the safety position. Just curious for the day after evaluation on film of that position in general and uh, Makuba in specific. Yeah, he had a rough day and a tough day. And uh, But you know what? Listen, man, I love that kid. And I told him that after the game. This kid, he's he's battled all year. Uh, you know, he didn't, he didn't practice uh, Monday and Tuesday. And, you know, he's out there. He had a little bit of a sore knee, battled through that. He's obviously played with the elbow all year. He's a he's an incredible competitor. He's, he's he cares deeply and uh, certainly was a game he's going to want to forget. Um, and some, you know, plenty of just fundamental things and, and eye discipline things and technique things that he can learn from. But he's going to have a lot more good days than he does bad days in the game of football because he is a great player, a great competitor. And, and he, you know, it's. When you play that position, you know, um, there's nowhere to hide <laughs> at times. And so it is what it is there. Um, we'd love to have a few plays back, but you don't get those plays back. But but what you can do is you can learn from them, and that's exactly what he'll do. And, you know, the fourth and one, I mean, and again, we got we turned them back over, but, you know, you stop. I mean, it's a one-person route, and, I mean, he, it, you know, we, we stop them right there. You're going to get points there. So just – you know, one of those one of those plays in the game that that um, uh, was was a very difficult play, and then they got us on a little little double move uh, later as well with a, again a nine point lead. So uh, tough day. Uh, JP got banged up, and JP man he came out and he had to go back in. Um, you know, and that's the one thing I will say about our guys, man. I saw I saw a bunch of brothers out there competing for each other. And really, I mean, to the end, they battled. They 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 never, you know, quit. They kept believing, and um, you know, that's that's all you can ask these guys. Nobody wants to win more than them. And uh, you know, you just got to you just got to keep teaching and, and growing them up and uh, and learning and and uh, put this one behind us and get ready to go compete. Uh, you know, for this league title. All right, we got time for about just a, two or three more. Matt Connolly, you're up next. No, but I was just going to ask, how do you how do you feel like Cade has been doing in practice and kind of been developing throughout this year? He's doing good. He's doing really good. All right, our next question is from Leo Haggerty. Go ahead, Leo. Coach, you had a lot of key injuries. You had an ejection. Did that affect the game plan on offense and defense with people in the game that uh, really you didn't expect to have had in the game? Well, I mean, it affects things, but, you know, both sides have players out and, and things like that. And, you know, we, we've got a, you know, we, we had plenty of opportunity and, um, you know, we're in position to win the game all the way to the end and just didn't do it. So, you know, everybody's got guys banged up. They lost a receiver, a really good player. And I, I, I hope he's okay. I don't, I didn't look good on the field. Uh, number six for them van uh, when he came down. So, um, and everybody's dealing with, with stuff you know, before the game, during the game. And, you know, our job is to find a way to win, and we didn't, we didn't do it. So, uh, again, you got to congratulate them because uh, they did, and it was a big win. And, and um, you know, we'll learn from it and got to live with it. Got to live with it for 300-something days. And, again, it's been a long time since we've had this feeling, thankfully. And um, get ready for uh, when that time comes again down the road. Thank you, Coach. Okay, our next question is from Brian Murphy. Go ahead, Brian. Hey, Coach. Uh, Dave Doran up at NC State said December's turned into one of his least favorite months of the year given uh, roster management, um, the early signing day, transfer portal, everything that's happening, you know, plus having to get ready for games. How do you how, how do you kind of balance all the things that need to be taken care of this month? Yeah, it's a lot because um, you got recruiting. And, uh, you know, so we, we – obviously are in the championship game this week. So um, although they did make this a dead week, used to for, for up until this year, this was recruiting started this week. So, you know, we, we were in this game, uh, I guess this is seven out of the last eight years that we've been in this game. Uh, so the, the previous six times we couldn't, we kind of missed the week because we were getting ready for the championship game. Um, but as soon as the game is over, I mean, literally uh, Sunday, everybody's gone. Everybody's out on the road. So there's a lot to do from a recruiting standpoint uh, because, you know, we've got the signing day coming up. And and then uh, 
Uh, it's always been a lot, bowl, you know, getting ready for your bowl prep, um, you know, the, getting your plan in place for that. Once you kind of know what you're, where you're going and who's your opponent. And, um, you know, there's always a lot of travel time, and playing time and things like that, that you're just constantly working, trying to, to get ready. And so we'll have about, uh, I think we got exactly two weeks uh, to go recruit. Um, so we'll be busy with that. And a week of that will be all recruiting. And then another week of that will be recruiting slash practice, you know, where we'll, depending on, you know, everybody's schedule and stuff, you know, you, you'll be, you know, maybe practice in the morning, recruiting at night, you know, vice versa. Um, you do that for a week. And then you've got that signing day on that Wednesday, the 21st. Um, and uh, so, you know, fortunately, uh, for us, uh, our class is, you know, almost done here. And, um, you know, we've got a lot of guys committed and a lot of guys that will be coming in uh, early in January. So we kind of – we pretty much have a pretty clear picture on what our class is going to look like. And we're super excited about the, the group that's coming in. Um, but then you have the added piece of uh, the transfer portal and all that stuff that, that has come about that, that creates uh, a difference – just a different deal, you know, uh, than, than we've had to deal with in the past because now your your roster can look very different by the time you get to your bowl game. Uh, so that's just – it just is what it is. It's everybody everybody has to deal with it, um, and you just try to uh, manage that the very best you can.